Let's balance the equation for the decomposition of sodium bicarbonate. This is baking soda. So the decomposition of baking soda is a commonly used thing in the chemistry lab. You'll heat up some baking soda and it'll decompose into these products. Then you'll do some calculations. So in this video, we'll just make sure we can balance this equation and that we have the right states. Let's start with the states. So baking soda, that's a solid, that's the powder. And then this sodium carbonate, that will also be a solid. If we're heating this up above 100 degrees Celsius to make the baking soda decompose, water is going to be a gas, although you may see it kind of form and condense at the top of a test tube. Let's call it a gas here, carbon dioxide, that's also a gas. So these are the states for our baking soda breaking down. Now let's balance the equation. We'll first count the atoms up, and we need to be careful here. So we have one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and then the three oxygen atoms. Product side, we have the two sodium, we have two hydrogen atoms here, and then carbon, we have one here, but we have one over here. One plus one, that's two carbon atoms. And then oxygen, we have three plus one plus two. And that's usually where people have problems balancing the equations. They count the oxygens up incorrectly. Let's start with the sodiums. Always good to leave oxygens till last. We'll put a two in front of our sodium bicarbonate, our baking soda. So one times two, we have two sodium atoms, one times two, two hydrogen atoms, one times two, two carbon atoms, and then three times two. That'll give us six oxygen atoms. And you'll notice that this equation, it's already balanced. We have the same number of atoms on each side. So this is our balanced equation for the decomposition of baking soda, NaHCO3. Again, if you're having problems, you most likely counted up the carbons or the oxygens incorrectly. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.